what the student demonstrators are saying. Eric. Well, good afternoon. Even though the protester did speak out today, it is awfully quiet here on campus ever since Tuesday morning when Chicago University of Chicago police moved in and dismantled that encampment. But that peace may be short lived. While you Chicago can remove us from the quad and destroy the physical space we built, you Chicago cannot destroy the encampment because the encampment is us. All of us here are the movement to fight against U.S. complicity and against U Chicago's complicity. And the power we have built together cannot be erased. Just before dawn, University police in right gear moved into the quad from all angles. They pushed the demonstrators out and quickly dismantled the encampment they erected over about nine days. Some students are saying they were pushed to the ground when police were moving demonstrators out. No arrests were made on Tuesday, despite there being some very tense moments. The university president said the safety concerns were mounting and the status quo just couldn't continue. At the press conference today, students called the administration cowards and hypocrites for saying that they stand for free speech, but still sent police in to clear the encampment. Demonstrators and the administration did meet to negotiate, but those talks ultimately fell through. Students today say the university offered up only token concessions and weren't negotiating in good faith. They said protests will continue not only here on campus, but throughout the city. The demonstrators' demands include divestment from any organization doing business with Israel. The university's response was no surprise. And it was terrifying that there was very few of us left when the raid happened. And so when we think about moving forward, I am just em like emphasizing that we are the people, we have power, and we, we can understand solidarity. Now, according to the students, about two dozen students here at the university are facing disciplinary action, not for their involvement in the encampment, but for a different protest with the same demands back in November. We're live at the University of Chicago. I'm Eric Ron, WGN News. All right, thanks, Eric.